Okay, so to design a tiled floor or to create a tiled floor, um, you should design it yourself if you're going to be selling it, but this is just for an illustration, so I'm going to use some on Google. I put floor tile in Google and we're looking at images. And there's so many different ones to choose from, so I've gone with this one for an example today. I have a snipping tool in Windows. Um, if you're on a Mac, you'll have something similar and you just press the snipping tool and new and then it will give you the option to be able to draw around your box and then you just need to click to save as and i've saved mine as example and it doesn't matter if you select an area larger than the tile because we'll go and crop that now So once you're in photo editor you can click edit image and come down to the crop options and you'll see there that it gives you ratios and you'll want a square and you just make sure that you you can kind of bring it down in or out to make sure that you've got an exact square because you'll need that to tessellate and then you would save it onto your computer so next we go into inkscape and we want to import your lovely square uh, image and you could crop it from in here as well but it's e I find it easier to do in the photo uh, editor these tiles let's say that for easy maths they were going to be six by six each individual tile so that would be then a 12 by 12 square so we want to make this in 12 scale, one inch square. So you can put in Inkscape lots of different measurements, but we're in inches. Make sure we've locked the ratio and we'll make this one inch square. So that would then be the 12 scale equivalent of six inch tiles. And then we just want to copy and duplicate. So you control C and you control V and handily in Inkscape, wherever your cursor is, is where it will drop the paste. So control V, 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 and you kind of think, how many do you want? Are you just tiling a backsplash? Do you want a sheet of tiles? So we'll just kind of do however many. And then I'll zoom in, which is you just press the plus key on the keypad to zoom in. And then you'll see when you click and drag one, it snaps to the other one as easy as that. No aligning and no fuss. So if you just wanted to create a backsplash, you could literally print a sheet of these um, and cut them out by hand. You can do wallpaper in the same way. Um, and then when you've got a selection like that, you can drag a box around them and group them. Oops, wrong one. Group them. And then again, you can just copy, control C, and then control V for paste. And the whole thing snaps again together. Hit the minus button to zoom out. And then you can just kind of control V again and control V again. And easily create a whole sheet in no time at all and this is probably a good size to print off on an A4 sheet of paper so what we next want to do is just literally export that whole image as a PNG so drag a box around it you don't have to group it I like to I don't know why um, so you would come over to here and you want to say export a PNG image so you come and export as you want to put the file name here where you want to save it to so I'm going to save it onto my desktop 
and in my tiled floor folder and I will just call it example three and then once you set where it's going to in the export as section you then actually need to hit export and it will then go and save it for you so just putting it in here in the export as and hitting save in the folder isn't the full kind of function you then have to hit export and then you can open the image as a PNG and just print straight from that. You could open this in design space and do print then cut if you want to get the Cricut to cut this out for you. Um, it's easy to do it by hand with scissors, but if you wanted to, you could also get the Cricut to deboss along these lines and also cut them out if you wanted to. So just bear in mind with print then cut on the Cricut, there's a maximum size and it's less than A4 so that's why I choose to print directly from the PNG itself by right clicking on it and then just choosing print. So that's it, I hope you have fun creating lots of tile patterns. You can see here I've done a, a backsplash from my Argit in blue and I've chosen some different tiles and tessellated them for my Christmas cabin floor. You can do exactly the same thing for wallpaper and I've even used this method for printing fabric. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you soon.